we have learnt about electric fields and magnetic fields in isolation, where an electric field is a region in space in which an electric charge experiences a force. It has the symbol uppercase letter E, it's measured in newtons per coulomb, and electric field lines are all, always drawn or directed from the positive charge towards the negative charge. And magnetic fields are something completely separate to that, where they are a region in space in which a ferromagnetic material will experience a force with a symbol letter B, and measured in Tesla, where magnetic field lines are always drawn directed from the North Pole to the South Pole of a magnet. What is important to realize is that these two fields are actually two sides of the same coin, and that coin is called electromagnetism where electromagnetism essentially explains the idea that the electric and magnetic fields are related to each other in a very simple way. And that way is that when you have a changing electric field, so we use the Greek letter delta here to show that we have a changing electric field, that will automatically produce a magnetic field perpendicular to it. And that relation both goes both ways, where a changing magnetic field would in turn produce an electric field. Creating a changing field is very simple, as a changing electric field simply means a charge that is moving. And we know that when charge is moving, we know that we have a current that is moving through a wire or some kind of conductor. So essentially what we are saying here is that a changing electric field, which is a result of a current or a current that is a result of a changing electric field, will always induce a magnetic field. And this is known as the motor effect. Conversely, a changing magnetic field, which basically means when you have a magnet that has a magnetic field around it and you move that magnet, that will automatically create a changing magnetic field that will in turn create an electric field which can obviously then go on to produce a current and this is known as electromagnetic induction. So once again electric and magnetic fields are seen as two sides of the same coin where a changing electric field in the form of a current can produce a magnetic field that can be used to create a mechanical energy or movement and the converse of that being that a changing magnetic field in the form of a moving magnet can create an electric field which can in turn induce a current which is known as electromagnetic induction.